Hey there. Welcome to the third of Sigma's four-part series on ML for the business user. My name is Fran, and today we're going to take a look at an example of clustering in Sigma. So what I have up on the screen is an example of a pretty classic business problem where we have a pretty wide distribution of stores in terms of their different numbers of customers and the total of revenue that each one of these stores bring in. And I'm interested in, as a business user, identifying if there's any kind of natural groups within these stores so that I can actually apply things like targeted ad campaigns or any kind of business strategy that can be applied to specific kinds of stores. And Traditionally, what this involves is having to actually look at the data just by eye and identify things like logical cut points of, you know, below 200 customers or above 200 customers. And I'm really interested in seeing if I can be more data driven in this approach. And a great way to do this is through machine learning. And so what we've actually done, if I look at the store summaries table up here, is we see that I've built this auto group function. And what this allows me to do with the auto group is actually put in any two variables. And what will happen is a machine learning algorithm will be applied in the back end to give me automatic groupings into one of five categories. And so when I scroll down on this workbook, we can actually see the output of that. So it's the exact same distribution that we were looking at above. We can see the exact same data points, but now we can see how those have been automatically classified into five distinct groups based on the natural distribution of that data. And this is going to be really useful for me for understanding how these different groups should get similar treatment in terms of the strategies that were laid out earlier. Um, but I can also put on top of those kind of numeric groups some business context to help me understand. So I've already put a few of those in here. Things like low performing for the class one in the lower left. These are ones that don't have a lot of customers and they don't have a ton of revenue. Um, and then, you know, something like average in green, which is that, that middle group. But I also see that I've got this group four. Maybe I want to give this a better description. This looks like uh, high revenue and mid customer count. And we'll give this a nice little emoji so that I can find it later. We'll give it a nice little rocket ship. And we'll see that when I make that change here, that can be picked up by my data so that uh, further users can actually see those annotations in the data itself. We see that high revenue mid customer description. And as this gets incorporated down the line, we'll know that this group should have a very specific kind of business application.